fresh for breakfast. <laughs> this is a Jess and Tommy podcast. So we've all seen these peel-off charcoal face masks everywhere. They're all over your Facebook and Instagram newsfeed. Now, I'm obviously a bloke, and I've even considered doing one because everyone's doing it, and I want to have nice skin too. <laughs> but I reckon there's more to meets, more than meets the eye with these face masks. So this morning, we're joined by Judy Chung-Wood, who is the president of Australia China Nutrition and Health Association, and is also the founder and managing director of skin care company, Skin B5. So hopefully, Judy will be able to answer a few... If anyone can, Judy can. <laughs> exactly right. Judy, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. Good morning. Judy, why are these charcoal face masks so popular? The reason being, charcoal has actually been used for a long time, and you probably hear about it using uh, in hospitals. They use it to absorb toxins, and people get poisoned. Um, and they can they use it for a number of you know uh, beauty applications. Obviously, recently, the reason being, char- activated charcoal, it has the ability to absorb. A, um, toxins and other substances are uh, uh, many, many times bigger than its own size or its own molecules. And that's why it's so popular because it's actually uh, efficient. It, you, a, a one molecule of charcoal can actually absorb probably even nine times of its size of uh, in terms of to- uh, toxins and other particles. And that makes it a very efficient way to absorb things and obviously also um, in a, in a case of a charcoal mask or pure mask, uh, it allows you to uh, the charcoal to absorb it and uh, be washed away or peeled away, and that's why it's being used in beauty products and it's quite popular. Judy, I guess the thing that we're seeing more recently is those ones people putting all over their faces, but then they're going viral on YouTube because of the pain it looks like when they peel them off. So there's obviously some sort of glue or adhesive in there that's helping the charcoal remove blackheads and, and, you know, treat pimples, that kind of thing. Surely that's not good for the skin, though. The (laughs) amount of pain these guys and girls who are filming themselves do it, that can't be good, though. It is not actually not very good for your skin. The glue that they use it's a P, it's PVA, and you you find it PVA glue. It's in all sorts of things. Of your PVA, you can it's a substance that's commonly used in many many things, but it, it, including very strong adhesive glues. For example, uh, glues that you use to p, uh, put uh, p, basic glue pieces of wood together. So that's how strong that glue is, and that's why you get that searing pain when you try to peel it off and as you can imagine it's actually doing a lot of damage to your the surface of your skin the surface of your skin is a protective um, mechanism to help protect your skin against uh, irritations and it do so and, and pollutions and it do so by a combination of obviously the top skin cells and essential oils in your body and, uh, that come on your surface of your skin and sebum uh, uh, skin oil so if you if you do these sort of peeling actions it's actually peeling away and damaging your top protective layer. And in the case of people suffering from acne, that can actually cause um, a reaction as well because people with active breakouts, they actually have essentially have open wounds on top on the surface of the skin. So you can imagine whatever you apply to, uh, to the, your, the, those wounds is going to further irritate and damage the skin structure. So Judy, is there any situation where you would recommend people to use the charcoal peel face masks? Yeah, can you do it without the glue, the adhesive? If we just rub charcoal in our faces, will will that that... do the same thing? (laughs) Yeah, just just gentle, you know, the way to, to, the correct way to um, treat your skin, a lot of people are doing too much to the skin, and they, what they're doing is they didn't realise, you know, your skin, if it's healthy, uh, you don't actually need to do too much to it to maintain it, like, you you can do too much uh, scrubbing, uh, or a lot of those, you know, toners, you you actually don't need the toner, the alcohol and the toner is actually irritating your skin, for example, the best way is to just keep it simple. If you're breaking out and you think your skin is not healthy, it's a reflection of your inner health. So you actually rather than looking for ways to um, address it superficially, people need to change the way they think. They really need to think about what is my skin telling me about my inner health? Is it because I have hormonal issues? Um, is it I'm stressed? Is it because if I'm breaking out, it could be also hormonal and stress and, and makes it worse if your immunity is down which is your immunity is linked to is suppressed by uh, stress and also obviously hormonal issues can can result to uh, weakened immunity so 
If you actually uh, spend time to uh, reflect on your lifestyles, your diet, and your inner health, um, what you what you're not feeling right about your body, probably it's it's um, can help you address your skin issues. And supplements can really help, especially vitamin B5 and zinc, vitamin A, vitamin B3. You do need a lot of people don't understand if you have um, if you have a normal skin and you just want to make your skin look brighter, you can have you know, uh, have t- take some of these vitamins and can really help. If your skin is breaking out, what it, what it tells you is you probably need to increase a dosage and take a, a higher dose of these in, um, in, uh, nu- nutrients to actually help address the problem because what they do is actually addressing the uh, your hormonal balance, your immunity, your, uh, your uh, ability for your skin to heal. Uh, which all contributes to your reflecting out as a outer look of your skin and health. I think we all go for that quick fix, don't we? So we think we can pop down to the chemist and just buy something that we can put on superficially. But you got to go deeper than that. You got to look inside. Well, yeah. It, well, it makes sense because it's not you're putting the charcoal face mask on your skin to make your skin look nicer, but it's really happening because of what you've what's going on inside your yeah, body yeah. and that's appearing on your face. No yes, quick so, yeah, no yes. quick fixes when it comes to skincare. It's got to go a bit deeper. Got to go, uh, what is there, something about skin, it's not just skin deep. Beauty's only <laughs> yes. skin deep. Yeah, you Beauty go, from within. Beauty that's from within. Thing thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Judy Jung Wood finished it off there beautifully. Thank you so much for joining us and helping us out there with the charcoal face masks, Judy. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Jess and Tommy. Golden Valleys. Hit 96.9.